Ben, if I could be anything, I'd be a farmer. Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army, I'm Lit and this is Fortnite Save the World and what we're looking at today is how to get sturdy mechanical parts because I've seen a lot of people in the Discord asking how to get them, loads of people are wanting to trade them, if you look in global chat you've only got to look in there for a second and you'll see it, lots of people are after these and it's usually because what you've done is you've leveled up a weapon a bit too early in Plankton and all of a sudden now you're needing sturdy mechanical parts. Also if you're in Candy Valley, loads of stuff uses these sturdy mechanical parts as well, so it may be that you've not over leveled a weapon, you're just getting through them really really fast so i'm going to teach you the fastest way to get them and the best way to do it so stay tuned and let's check it out Okay, so first off then, if you're in Plankton, there is good news, you know, as long as you're up to about level, you tend to find 42, they start appearing, but about level 48, you'll start seeing a lot, lot more uh, sturdy mechanical parts when you're going around the map. So if you look at this one, this is Plankton, and if you look in there, that's a 46, so that would be a good place to actually go and get them from. You've also got the rocket mission here, 40. You might get some, but not many. Do you know, I've not got many others than that one, do you know, that one mission there at 46. You know that are a high enough level to do these in so in plankton you're probably not going to get a ton of them you know so you've actually got to go for your higher in missions look for missions that are in red look for missions that are in yellow and actually use them to farm now if you're going to do that don't jump into a mission with other people use this little button up here you've got the three little lines up there just click those and make sure you click on privacy and click that to private so it's just you in there so no one else is in there now we're going to go to canny valley now a lot of people i've seen a lot of guides or most guides will tell you for sturdy mechanical parts to go to um, industrial parks and stuff like that but that's not actually the better place i tend to find cities tend to be slightly better than the industrial places tend to be mainly because there's a lot more things like generators cars laying around there's a lot more parking meters and things like that and things that you're going to need so you'll tend to find that the city for this it's not for, it's not better for nuts and bolts and it's not better for just gathering metal in general but it is better for gathering sturdy mechanical parts it's just as i said that's personal preference give me a reason why it's not but every time i've done it if i want to get the most out of it i want to maximize the sturdy mechanical parts i tend to find the city does a lot lot better than what the actual um you know than what the industrial parks do in there now the setup that we're going to use the heroes that we're going to use if we just go over here we're going to use outlander uh, outlander archaeology yes and we're going to use the pathfinder version of her you can use any really it doesn't really matter for this because it's not one of those things where we're going to utilize the loot llamas as much which is one thing that if you're farming basic maps that she's absolutely great for you can also use recon scout eagle eye i'm putting her on because you've got a six percent extra chance to find double loot which just makes perfect sense and i like the um, carbide in the tactical slot just because it gives you that bit of extra longevity on the teddy when you're trying to farm and if you want to get husks off your back and you just want to carry on with your farming you can just drop the teddy and it just lasts a little bit longer so what we're going to do then we're going to jump into this one that i just showed you on there we were just hovering over it i think earlier on so this city map that down here this is a 64 mission we're 65 it's absolutely fine on this one so we're gonna we've got the privacy set uh, and then what we're going to do on there we're going to see how many we can get in 10 minutes so from this point what i'm going to do once we actually start and i start the clock i'm going to drop all my sturdy mechanical parts into like a little we'll make like a little hut or something or a box to put them in and then what we'll, we'll go and get them at the end and we'll see how many we can get in 10 minutes so stay tuned and let's see how we get on Okay, so what we'll do first off then, I've already got some mechanical parts from earlier. So if you look at there, sturdy mechanical parts, I've got 134 there. So we're just going to drop those. So we'll max those out. We'll drop those in there. We'll just put like a little roof over it or something. There you go. And then we'll know where it is later on. So that's for us to find in a second or after we've done the 10 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. It's not really that safe, is it? <laughs> Let's just put a box around it. There we go. Well, we know we know it's in there. Okay, so there's no one going to join this anyway because it's a private match. And if you look at all this, it's just knowing what to actually look for when you start. So what we're going to do, we're going to start the timer from now. And we're going to do 10 minutes of just farming for sturdy mechanical parts. So we've got some pretty much straight away there. So let's just keep moving. So the things you want to be looking for are things like cars, vans, telephone boxes, parking meters. Sometimes they can hold them in there as well. And basically anything that's mechanical. Now, what we're going to utilize is phase shift and also the anti-material charge as well. Now, llamas are great to get, and I would definitely advise getting them in between times. The only thing is they're not actually going to help you get um, sturdy mechanical parts because they just don't drop from there very often. Now, I use, I use the phase shift when cars are far apart. So if cars are more than about four or five steps apart, and if it's up, then I'll use the phase shift. So like now, what I would do now that that's come up, bit quicker and it just ups the time a little bit quicker for you so you're actually getting more mats 
per hour. Now, I'm not going to get another bear there because we've got that. See, now look, we've got a loot llama here. I would still recommend getting these when you find them. Okay, I was doing a test run of this earlier just to make sure it all worked fine. And I got like five llamas on one mission. <laughs> Which, if I was recording that, would have just cut into the time. But we're only one minute in so far. So let's just keep going and see how we get on here. So there we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Quick. And you can get things like Malachite and things like that in there if you're in the right area. And if you're the right level. So let's just grab all these up quickly. We've got loads of metal because obviously I've been... Uh, Testing this farming guide out for you guys before we've actually come to it and put it up So let's just keep going keep going. That's that anti-material charges up Now if you look there, we've got husks coming So we'll just drop the bear in there and then we'll get on with what we're doing these pipes and stuff great for nuts and bolts Now these are the best thing to get the sturdy mechanicals from if you just hit them They only take one hit. They don't give it every single time. So it's RNG uh, You know RNG dependent if you like in that sense, but if we go over here this one, look, just one sturdy mechanical part. Nice and easy. And if you're getting ambulances and stuff, don't forget to get these at the back. Damn it. Okay, I think these want to get us. Let's put, the, uh, let's put the turrets up for those guys and we can carry on farming. This is another reason that I use the Outlander as well. Just because she can kind of hold her own and she's got enough like, extra skills, if you like, to actually stop things getting to her. So, you know, the turrets have just taken care of that and the bear took care of it earlier. Okay, so let's keep going here. So we're just going to try and maximize as much as what we can. Now, if you look at the loot find, that was glowing green through the wall. So that actually helps us as well. Going into these fireplaces is sometimes good because you can sometimes find things inside here. Lockers don't tend to do it, but they do sometimes. But they're always worth hitting. We've got the anti-material charge for that. Things like fire trucks that are going to take a lot of hits. Do you know what? We saw some loot down there, didn't we? All right, that's through the wall there. So we'll come back and get that later on. But, you know, the fire stations and things, sometimes they have things in them like vending machines. If you look there, we just got some sturdy mechanical. And we've got the treasure find, so we know that there's going to be something in here. We, do you know what? There's a door. <laughs> Why would... Oh, okay. We can't use the door because it's blocked off. Oh, it's still through there, look. Okay, well, let's just leave that one for now. So we'll just keep going. <laughs> I'm just trying to maximize time. That's why I'm trying not to just do... Every single thing. Where haven't we been on the map? Okay, let's get up this way. Sometimes worth going around the edges of the map as well. There are things there. Okay, so we've got anti-material charger. I'm going to save for this bus. Anything that'll take more hits than normal. Do you know what? I'm actually, you know, curious to see. I don't get many from the parking meters, but you do get nuts and bolts from them. I don't think we've seen very many uh, sturdy mechanical parts from the parking meters, but I definitely wouldn't leave them. Just because you get so much from them. If you look at my inventory over here, Detective Cheese, every time he runs out or he's got too much uh, bag space, uh, sorry, not enough bag space, he drops his nuts and bolts. So just look at all them. I've got an absolute ton. And I've got more in storage as well. <laughs> so look, we've got husks there. We'll put the bear down and then we can just carry on farming while the bear takes care of those. Just another reason why the Outlander rocks when it comes to farming. Look, didn't even get to us. Okay, we've got that one there. See, the foam boxes are always great as well. Anything that like dis uh, dishes out like power tends to be absolutely great. So anything that you think may be mechanical are great as well. Now, you've got to think as well. Garages sometimes can have a ton of stuff inside them. So don't dismiss these. Sometimes you can get stuff in there. Okay, or you can have ammo on there as well. You get toolboxes. All this is worth searching to try and get those extra bits in there as well. And you can get a ton of other bits. If we can find a house, which you sometimes find in the city as well, they're always great. Now, if you look at this, I saw this. This is like a little deli thing that they've got. Now, you can search them. You'll sometimes get things in there. God damn it, guys. Come on. We haven't got a teddy up. <laughs> Let's put a drone outside just, just to keep us safe. Okay, so you can search all this and get the other bits if you are. But if, like us, for now, just because we're on a timer and we're going for mechanical parts, I'm just going to be a Hulk and smash all this up. And we should get some mechanical parts from in here as well. These are always great if you can get in somewhere like this. And you'd be surprised at how many you can actually get from places like that as well. Now, I'm going through the wall because I saw this computer place through here. So sometimes you can get from in here as well. You'll not get as many from offices. You know, the little delis and things like that tend to be the better places. Okay, now office blocks like that are good. You sometimes, uh, more so in the industrial estate, but you sometimes get uh, like power generation places or like printing shops and things like that that are going to have an absolute ton of stuff inside them. 
See if we can find one. Well, this looks like a bar. <laughs> okay, we're probably not going to get much from in here. Just think about the place that you're actually, you know, that you're actually destroying and just think, you know, would that have power in it? So these things are absolutely great. ATMs, stuff like these, ice machines are great. We don't really have things like that in the UK, the outdoor ice machines at hotels. Okay, look, we're going to put a bear outside on this corner. Again, he'll just keep whatever's out there busy. So we can get on with what we're doing. Okay, look, we've got that on there. Things like cannons, great. Do you know, so this is actually a good spot to do it in as well. So take all these off the top. Just get as much stuff as what you can. And as I said, with these things that are glowing, I'm sure I've missed a few. But just search them. There's a parking meter inside there. Okay. Why not? Okay, so we took them down as well. Search into there and we'll just get this as well. The anti-material charge has still got 20 seconds on it, so we can't get that just yet. Okay, so I get us at 6 minutes 55. I think we're doing okay. Feels like we are. We want to aim for about 50 in about a 10 minute run, I would say. That would be good. If we can get more than that, then that's great. But again, that purely just depends on how quick you are. Suburbs are great, as I said, because you can get into kitchens in houses and they're always great. I would love to find a house right now, actually. That would be good for us. Okay, maybe there's, maybe there's a kitchen in this place. It's not really house-like, is it? Okay, let's look on the map where we haven't been yet. So let's get down to the southern part of the uh, of the map. So what we're on, seven and a half minutes. Feels good so far. Feels like we're doing it. Okay, well, there's definitely a blue in that chest, look, because we've got the loot find on. So we definitely need to be getting that. Okay, and we can't leave this truck because it's too big to leave. Oh, as is this one, to be fair. So let's get this as well. There's a place you can hit them where it'll get both parts. There you go. Doesn't work every time. But often it'll get... Oh, wow, encampment. Okay, let's move. <laughs> All right, so we don't really want to be doing that yet just because it's going to be using up the time for us. Let's put him there to protect us. Okay, 8 minutes 10. This is unedited. Yeah, we can't really help you just yet. Okay, so things like this are great. I was looking for a house to see if we could find one. But I don't think we're going to get one just yet. But never mind. Let's just keep going with the cars and see what we get. Eight and a half minutes gone. Okay, these mailboxes as well often drop them. So don't leave those if you see them. I mean, there's probably a load that I'm missing. <laughs> but, you know, that's just how it is. Wow, so we're farming next to an encampment now. Okay, well, let's put that up there. We're not going to focus on the encampment, as I said, because we're farming. Now, you see this little shop over here? This is good, because this has got like, all the little gnomes in it and things like that. All right, I think we're not going to be able to leave that alone. There we go. Now, anti-material charging through this would be great. Okay, but sometimes these can drop them as well. And we've got the extra pickaxe damage because we're using the uh, pickaxe damage because we're using the Outlander. But you know, shops like this can sometimes be great. Lawn mowers as well, these are always great. I always worry about the American like UK divide there. Are they still called lawn mowers in America? Or have they got a different name? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so let's just keep on going then. I've got us down as about nine and a half minutes. I'm gonna add a minute on because we did the loot llama earlier. So we'll just add one like one extra minute on. What's that? That's just a blue. Okay, so let's just keep going. So we'll just add it. We'll take it to 11 minutes just because we were waiting on that loot llama that we got. The purple loot llama. But I would always do them in between as well. I would definitely do them as a matter of course. Okay, let's just get inside see what we can get. Because inside buildings sometimes can be absolutely great. Look, things like fridges, they've got a really high chance. So look, like kitchens tend to be great. I'm not going to get one now that I've said it. <laughs> okay, well that was always going to happen. So let's just keep on. Let's keep on moving. Okay, so let's get these last few then. So I'll work it out. We've got about 50 seconds. So do you know what? Just to keep them close together, we'll get these cars. And just see what we can get. Oh, there's a taker over there, look, as well. And we're getting things thrown at us. And there's an encampment down below us. <laughs> well, you know, when I had to make this easy. Although it is a bit of an easy guide, as I said. This should be quite a foolproof way to do it. See, things like these as well on the side. They're always going to be useful. Let's get over here. 
Things like these generators are great. You can often get them from these on the roof, so you can often do a, a rooftop run as well. Also as well, we've got the uh, traffic lights. Always great to get them. Just super fast way to get them, like I said. Just go around. Don't think you normally get them from shopping trolleys, but sometimes I've seen them drop from there. I mean, just, I mean, look at it all. It's just, this place is absolutely ripe to get as much stuff as we can. Okay, so I make that about, I think we did about 11 minutes in total there. Just go and get these, these last few. <laughs> it's like you can hear people shouting, stop the clock. Okay, hydrants, get them from there as well. Okay, look, I could go on for ages, like I said. This absolutely just ripe for the picking in the city. So city maps are absolutely fantastic for doing that. So let's go back to the start then. Let's just have a quick look at how many we've actually got then. So sturdy mechanical parts up there. We've got 61 in 10 minutes. So if you were doing that over an hour, so if we can do that in 10 minutes, so you could do six times that, you're looking at about 366 sturdy mechanical parts in an hour. And I think you could actually do it faster than that if you wanted to as well. Do you know, we're just doing it casually. Do you know, we get sidetracked and stuff like that. But you know, and the bare area that you're in, do you know, the higher area that you can go and farm in, the more parts you're going to get as well. So it's quite an easy way to actually do that. I mean, we've done 366 in an hour, but you could easily, do you know, get a lot, lot more than that. Okay then guys, so in total then we did start off with 100 and something, so we've got 196 now sturdy mechanical parts, which is absolutely plenty. I mean you can always trade and do that, a lot of people don't like to trade at all, I'm probably someone who would advise against it, when you can farm it that quick. If you're doing a farming mission and you're gathering metal and stuff anyway, you can go on an industrial estate, you know, and you can actually do it that way, so do the industrial zones and work through it that way, or if you just want the mechanical parts, then I would recommend do the highest level mission you can possible, and then just work your way through that way. Do you know, I can do high level missions in that so we could have farmed in like a 70 zone you know and done that as long as you don't forget to set it to private and do it that way but that's just a super fast way at the rate we were going we would have done about 350 uh, sturdy mechanical parts every hour which would have been plenty as i said and that's enough to keep you going and actually get you going on there if you look at this i mean this is nuts look this is detective cheese unloading all the nuts and bolts here <laughs> that we get all the time so we do get a lot of those as i said i don't even know what the total amount is that we've got on there but guys, that's everything that you need to know. So as I said, if that guide's been useful, don't forget to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you think of the guide. If you've got any extra tips as well for farming, you know, mechanical parts in any area, any zone, whether you want the simple ones, the sturdy ones, or whatever it may be, then make sure that you let me know in the comments down below. Massive thanks for being so supportive lately, guys. I've massively appreciated it, and it has been noticed. I try and get involved in every single comment that goes down there, but obviously that's time consuming. Can't always do it, but I am in the comments a hell of a lot. If you want to speak to me more directly and more often, Often, then go down and check in the discord there's a link down below in the description i leave it there every single video and i would love to chat to you there we've just got over a thousand people now in there we're coming up to twenty thousand subscribers so everything is going fantastic for the latana army right now and that's massively down to you guys so a massive massive thank you for that only one video out today guys because it's the england match today and it's you know the uk is huge on the world cup the football world cup or soccer world cup whichever you call it so we've got an england game today so just the one video today i'll be watching that with the kids i'm really looking forward to that so wishes luck and i will catch you guys on the next video take care now